Mamadou Sakho scored a last-minute win at a gift Crystal Palace a crucial win against Stoke. The former Liverpool defender tapped home from close range as the Eagles ended a run. If two successive draws at Selhurst Park, Mamadou Sakho scored in the 92nd minute to give Palace a much-needed win at home Crystal Palace celebrate the late win at home. Against Stoke Jerdan Shachiri had put the visitors ahead in the 52nd minute before Ruben Loftus-Cheek leveled three minutes later. Mark Hughes Potters are now without a win in their last three games home and away, and just three points off the drop. In a game of few chances and better conditions, it was defensive errors that gave each side glimpses of goal. Andros Townsend was almost put through by Eric Peters after fumbling the ball in his own area early on, but the Dutch defender recovered well. Jerdan Shachiri scored from outside the box off a solo run for his third goal of the season. Ruben Loftus-Cheek quickly equalised with his first ever goal for the Eagles. Shachiri was then left one-on-one -on -one with Wayne Hennessy after a mistake by Mamadou Sakho high up the pitch. The Swiss effort was well blocked by the Eagles keeper. Johan Kabai was lucky not to be sent off by Mike Dean after a nasty studs challenge on Ramadan Sobhi, leaving Mark Hughes fuming with the officials. Wilfred Zaha remained a constant threat throughout the first half, but it was Stokes' talisman Shachiri who put his side ahead after the break against the run of play. The playmaker dribbled past four players and calmly slotted the ball into Hennessy's left-hand corner after 52 minutes. Stoke captain Ryan Shawcross misses absolute sitter against Crystal Palace. Peter Crouch made his 144th substitute appearance in the Premier League to extend his record total three minutes later. Palace deservedly drew level after Townsend's cross from deep managed to find its way through the Stoke defence, allowing Loftus-Cheek to tap in unmarked. The introduction of Christian Benteke and Peter Crouch from either bench led to a frantic final period, while Spaniard G's also almost made an impact with a long-range attempt. Ryan Shawcross should have taken all three points back up north for Hughes, but somehow diverted across the way from an empty net. But, after a Zaha cross and an effort off the post from Cabo, Sacco netted the easiest of chances to give Roy's boys the best of weekend results. Players and officials wore rainbow laces in support of anti-homophobia campaign interactive stats click on the categories to find out how the teams fared interactive lineups click on a player's number below to see their stats facts stats goals lols palace have never lost to the potters in a premier league game at home winning four and drawing one darren fletcher made his 104th successive Premier League match appearance drawing level with Jonathan Walters as joint fourth in the all-time outfield records within the competition. Ruben Loftus-Cheek's goal was his first for the Eagles, and second ever in the Premier League. Mamadou Sakho's goal was also a first for him for Crystal Palace. Stoke have now conceded 26 goals to match West Ham with the most in the Premier League. Social says three points are off safety, one off Swansea and four games unbeaten at home. May not have been our best performance, but at this stage we need to be able to show we can win ugly. COYPCPFCCRYSDK, Dan TB a turn Brown November 25, 2017 conceding goals for fun, formation all wrong can't. Score if we played all day night like it or not it's going be a long hard season pouting Palace picked up under Hodgson TBFC RYSTKSCFC Darren Knight at DAC. November 25, 2017